honored and thrilled that you came here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is going to be a blast. I'm oh, so excited. I'm so excited, too. I was, like, nervous all week. I, get, I still get really nervous. Do you? I, I do. Do you get nervous ever? Yeah, yeah, sometimes I get nervous. How do you deal with it? Um, I, you know, recently, for example, I went to this concert recently, Zach Williams, this, uh, this a friend of mine who's a singer, he had, he had a show, he's a great guy if you check out Zach Williams. He brought out this uh, piano player, keyboard player, who uh, is vision impaired, right? So he walked out and he, and he was smiling and he stood there, or he sat there and he played the piano and he sang, he's just beautiful. And I was noticing how, like his body, the way he held his body, right? Kind of like almost like a big speaker. He was resonating this music out of his body. And he was not, there was no vanity in it because he wasn't th concerned about the way he might be looking maybe, or maybe it didn't feel that way to me. And so he was just sitting there and he was smiling and he was so happy. And I just thought like, when I go on Drew Barrymore, I'm gonna really like <laughs> think about my posture. I'm gonna think like that. Cause I, it, 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 like he gave out this, positive energy and, and his, he was thinking it was his voice gave, gave like room for his voice to exit his body so I maybe I'm a little nervous now but I just think about things like that Channel preparation and separations in the preparation right oh so I wanted to be prepared <laughs> there you go point is go see Zach Williams and sit up uh, when people are talking to you separation is, is in, in the, the preparation yeah it's the truth that will change right? my life absolutely the truth I used to hear I used to hear the quarterback Russell Wilson, a Seattle former Seattle Seahawk, Denver Bronco, Russell Wilson, a guy I really look up to. He used to say that all the time, and it's true, especially like in you know in acting. How many times have you been in a situation where you're like, oh man, I, I wish I'd have just spent a little more time preparing for this, or like you leave that day after you work and you go, man, I should have tried. Something this. I should have tried. It's like if you prepare and prepare and prepare, sometimes that separates uh, you f from maybe. You, you know, you, the, best, you're the best version of yourself from the, the version you brought the day that you didn't prepare, I don't know. I, I couldn't agree more. There I call go. it showing up naked for a test. Yeah. Like, don't do yeah. it. Don't do that. Just that's, do not do it. That's the truly nightmares that you have. It's like you sh you're naked. Yeah, because I feel naked metaphorically. Yes. You know? Yeah. Like, it's the reverse emperor has no clothes. Yeah. I have no clothes on. I'm naked and vulnerable. <laughs> and, you know, but I was like, I'll ask Chris, because I, I get so excited. I want to do well, and I, I get excited, and it's different than our other job. Right. Like, it is different. I yeah. feel like I'm on wheels still. Is that right? Uh-huh. Well, you're doing great. Really? Yes. Are you still doing great? You really are. You really are. I think you can do this as long as you want. You're doing great. I, you know, I see your clips all over. They float all over online. There's like amazing clips with you all over the place and you are really doing great. That People. means so much coming from you because I respect you so much, oh. as well as like enjoy and admire all the work you put out. But you work hard, you have range, which I always thought growing up, like especially in our job, that like range was the most, uh, the biggest goal. You know, don't yeah. you? I don't want to be pinned Pigeon. down. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I, I like drama, I like funny, I like adventure. Like, yeah. you could go into any genre of anything and we're all buying into it. Hey, you've thank you. have managed to do that over the course of your career, which is huge, huge, and has to be earned. Oh, thank you. Thanks thank so much. Thank you. Oh, thank you. This is okay. amazing. So you have a farm? Yeah, I do. I have a farm, yeah. Any recent additions, like any new animals Oh, on my the gosh, farm? so many. What do you have? So many new additions. Well, oh, uh, no. we, we have uh, a lot of different um, sheep and, and goats that just uh, had babies recently. So our, our, our goat kids are about a week and a half old right now. We've probably got about 30 of them. Goat kids have a really cute name, don't they? Kids. Kids. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, kids. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call a goat kid? Uh, yeah, kids. Yeah, they call them kids, which is really cute because so they are cute. little kids. It's funny, you know, sheep and goats... They're really different, right? Like a sheep, it just follows its shepherd. Right. Uh, goats, on the other hand, are, are really finicky and they're stubborn, you know? They want it to do it their way. They don't trust the shepherd. They, they think they're gonna figure it out. So a goat, say for example, you had like an old car stereo sitting out in your uh, field, which we had somehow a car stereo had fallen out under the grass. And- As one does. As one, one somehow a car stereo ends up in a field. Um, and the sheep would stay away from it. But the goat would be like, listen, 
I need to figure out what this thing is. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> and I think I, I love the metaphor for us relying on our own understanding in a way. It's like, you know what? I got this. I'm gonna eat the car stereo. I'll get back to you and let you know what it is, you know? Okay, well, <laughs> when your wife was here and I bonded with her on her book about forgiveness, which I think is just yeah. such a powerful thing. Yeah, The Gift of Forgiveness, she wrote this book and it, she chronicles several different stories and their own journeys with forgiveness. There's nothing about it that says you need to do it one way or you need to do another. She was just really looking at people in their forgiveness journeys, and it's a fabulous book, and so she's And it's great. true, she explores so many variations yeah. of forms of forgiveness. Yeah. And when I screw up, I say, hey, remember your book. <laughs> <laughs> remember, forgiveness is a gift, honey, so you should probably forgive me, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, I asked her uh, dating advice, and then she said, oh, well, actually, you should speak to my mom. Yeah, um, she'll matchmaker set you up. Maria. Do you think I should try to ask her to matchmake me? Yeah, she loves it, by really? the way. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. I think that would be great. She loves it. Um, she and Catherine both think obsessively about this stuff, so if you, if you be careful. You set them out there, and they are going to, uh, they're gonna hurry it up. They're gonna get you along, you know? Well, I mean, I've been single for seven years. Maybe Is I should true? try something. Is that true? Are you something. ready? I are don't, you... I, for something fun and, and lovely, you know? Right. I, that should be pretty easy. But it's not. It's really? hard to, yes. It's, I guess. It's, it's a little bit, it's tricky out there. It you is. You know, it's tricky. You know what I really want? is just to get along and, and be happy, you know? Yeah. I don't want any drama. I just wanna just enjoy life. Well, that's good. That's good. I, I think if you want that, I think you, I think you should be able to find that. Uh, it's a lot of knowing that you want that's important. Don't, don't go for a difficult person. I'm sorry. I Come just, on. I... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dear, I love you. You're the best. <laughs> that's it. Well, listen. Thank you for, like, confirming my hey. best hopes. Yeah, you, you, you bet. I'll tell you, man, I, I met Catherine. Uh, now it's been five, maybe six years ago, and... God has a fast forward button, you know, like when it's right, boom, you hit, you're fall in love, you get married. You... Now we have two, we have two beautiful daughters to add to, you know, my, my family. And it's just, it feels, it feels really great. And then I was, there was a moment in my life that I was really struggling and felt really broken. And, 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 uh, yeah, it was like coming to, for me, my own journey, like, you know, finding a higher power and, and, um, leaning on that and feeling and like being like, please save me. And then feeling saved, and then shortly later meeting, you know, the woman of my dreams, and being like, "This is wow! This feels great." It's all about timing, and you know, it's all—it's all. There's a perfect plan out there for you, and I think uh, you just gotta have to have faith. And and if you have the minute you have faith, it falls into place. And you guys met through in a place of faith. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, we did. We met at a church. She was in the. Yeah, we were. I was like in the front row of church. Which is like, you kind of don't want to be like, whoa, who's that at church? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but I was like kind of sneaking some glances and uh, I'm like, who is that? I wonder who that is. Anyway, what am I doing? Come on, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm broken, help me. <laughs> but who's that? <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we, we kind of hit it off. And we didn't, you know, we, we didn't uh, uh, start dating right away, but we met there and then like, you know, later on uh, ended up going out. And was it like a, a quick connection? Very quick. As yeah. you said, God puts it on fast forward. Yeah, it was just there. It was like, okay, this all, it all, it all very, it made sense. You know, it's like when you're, you know, when you're doing a puzzle. Yes. And then you, there's a piece and you're like, I'm certain that's the piece. And you like kind of jam it. And it's like, it looks like it should be the piece. Like, right. And then you're like, no, maybe is it the, oh, it's that one. Like it just fits together. You're like, oh, that's okay. It fits because it's the piece that was made to fit there. That felt like that. Did you always have access to this kind of depth, or did you have to earn Not it? Not until the moment I sat right down in this chair. I, had no <laughs> idea I, was gonna I think you have this magic ability to pull this out of people. I was going to be like, okay, so Mario, when the Mario movie comes out, we're going to talk about that. And then now I'm like, no, you know, I've become a guru out here. I don't know what I'm not kidding. I know. I'm like, oh, God, Super Mario will, will, will we come back. <laughs> 